Now that Drum Replacer is done analyzing the clip, we can use the filter to find which hits we're going to replace. We'll mute the first kick track and play it from the beginning. Then we'll drop the threshold so that all of the hits come through and they'll be replaced. That sounds about right. But we want to use our own sample. In order to do that, simply find your samples in the media browser and just click and drag it right into the interface and it'll replace that sample. Let's take a listen again. Perfect. Let's take a listen to how this sample measures up next to the rest of the drum kit. Seems a bit quiet, so let's just bump up the gain. And then we'll add a pull textile EQ, just to give this a little bit more thickness. I'm going to add about 60 hertz to the entire signal. <laughs> 